Let's talk about trauma bonds. Trauma bonds are a bond that you make with someone based off of a mutual trauma that you both have experienced. Let's say, for example, you both experienced bullying as a child in middle school. That is, a, and you bonded over talking about that. That is a trauma bond. Or let's say, for example, you've experienced sexual assault and you are bonding with another person that has also experienced the same thing that you have experienced. That's a trauma bond. And trauma bonds can be good or bad depending on the people that you are trauma bonding with. Some trauma bonds do not have to always end in such a negative light, okay? But there are other trauma bonds that can really turn detrimental. For example, when you are trauma bonding with someone else, then you all are both on different versions and different levels of your healing journey. So you may be further along on your healing journey than they are, but you're still healing from the same exact trauma, right? But what can happen is that if this other person that you are trauma bonded with, if they are not in the same level as your healing journey, they can project a lot of their lack of healing onto you, which can actually keep you stuck or push you back some steps that you don't need to be in. So you have to be very cautious and very discerning because you want to be around people that view your traumas and your healing and you all are in agreement with how you view your pain and your trauma but if there's some ways that you all can disagree on certain things then that's a problem for example if you are the type of person where you know that you have to feel your feelings you have to do what you can to help yourself like maybe going to therapy to help yourself out because you have to heal from this trauma and that's wonderful but let's say for example this other person they don't want to put in the internal work they don't want to go through that healing process they don't want to go into therapy maybe they are fully against therapy and they're telling you oh therapy is not going to work while you're already in it you don't want to have that instill doubt in what you're doing just because they disregard it or they or they disagree with it or let's say, for example, they say something like, just get over it, just forget about it, just let it go. So because they are not brave enough to face their traumas and they want to just easily brush and sweep things under the rug, they can't hold the space for themselves. So they can't hold the space for your trauma either. That's exactly why they will project that onto you and tell you, just get over it, just forget about it. It's in the past. Let it go. Forget it. But trying to forget something is like trying to act like it never happened and that's not what you are about when it comes to your healing process you're like i'm going to acknowledge everything that i have been through and i'm going to work through this pain and if you cannot be with me to help me work through this pain then we have to end this you have to cut those type of trauma bonds out of your life